Hello biology class, welcome back to another lecture. This is lesson three as you can see, all about blood types. So lesson three of the circulatory system. This is the third of four lessons on specifically blood, and then we'll move on to the heart. So blood types. There are four blood types. Well, there's really eight, but they are, there's four of them that are split into two groups each. So we'll focus on the four different types first. There is blood type A, blood type B, blood type AB, and blood type O. Um, so what determines that particular blood type is the protein that is present on the uh, red blood cell surface. Um, so these red blood cells, you know what they look like. They are little red discs. They have proteins that are present on the outside of them. These proteins are called antigens. So we've gone through already key points one and two. Uh, blood types are A, B, AB, and O. And what determines this are the antigens or the proteins that are on the surface of those blood cells. It's very important that we talk about it in terms of what is on the surface of the blood cells because that is what makes them detectable to um, your body or other people's bodies and part of the reason we can't donate blood to anyone. So the four blood groups again are A, B, A, B, and O. Uh, group A has erythrocytes with antigen A on their membrane. So that is described here in this uh, picture. We have circular antigens. These are A antigens and they cover the surface of this red blood cell. That makes it type A. For group B or type B, the erythrocytes, or red blood cells, have antigen B on their membranes. You can see with triangles here, this is obviously way simplified, but we have triangles here that show that this is uh, blood type B. We move on to group AB. We have A and B antigens on the surface here. Surprise, surprise, AB is both triangles and circles, so that's this depiction here. And then we have group O. So the, those erythrocytes, or those red blood cells, have nothing on them. It looks kind of naked now. It's not normal, but uh, it is normal. I'm just, uh, but O blood uh, type has nothing on it. So neither antigen A nor B on the membrane. So those are the four different uh, types, A, B, AB, and O, O for nothing. We also have antibodies in our blood. So antibodies are kind of, I like to think of them as the opposite of antigens. So antibodies detect the wrong blood type. Uh, you have the opposite antibodies in your plasma of the uh, antigens that are on your red blood cells. So that might be a little bit complicated, but I hope when I show you the picture that's next, it will make a whole lot more sense. So blood type A, has B antibodies floating around in the plasma. Whichever is not on the red blood cell is in the plasma. So blood type B has A antibodies in the plasma because there are no A antigens on the red blood cell. It has A antibodies on the outside. Blood type O has both A and B antibodies because it has nothing on the surface of the red blood cell. And blood type AB has no antibodies because it is covered by the two antigens, uh, so there are no available uh, antibodies to be out there. So antibodies, what their job is, is to detect when the wrong blood type has entered your bloodstream, which is why we are worried uh, about blood types during surgeries. So when a... Uh, in the olden days, they used to give just any type of blood to anybody, and people would not react well, and they would wonder why. And it is because um, our antibodies would then attack any of our antigens that are on the red blood cells. That is more focus for next lesson, uh, but just to give you a little preview. So here is the picture. Uh, I believe you have this one. Uh, so we have antigen A. Uh, you can see that they're circles. So in the plasma, or in the yellowish liquid, we have triangle antibodies. They are kind of like opposites. You can see how they would latch on to B antibodies, or antigens, so these are B antibodies here. 
In antigen B, or blood type B, we have antibodies A we, that look like circles. They're kind of opposite to antigen A. And with both, we have none. And with neither, we have both the circles and the triangles. So erythrocytes with type A surface antigens and plasma with anti-B bodies. So antibodies, we call them anti-Bs sometimes. Anti-A bodies, we call them anti-As. Uh, I hope you can see that it's kind of the opposite. Whatever is not on the erythrocyte is in the plasma. If there's nothing available, it's just blank, just like these two. We also have the RH factor, which you can see is key point four. Uh, the RH factor kind of splits all A, uh, A, B, A, B, and O types into positives and negatives. So a person can either be RH positive or RH negative. And again, these positives and negatives will denote whether it has the antigen or not. So positive does have the antigen and negative does not have the antigen. It's just called the RH antigen. So RH positive blood has the antigen, but not the antibody. And RH negative does not have the antigen, but it has the antibody. So we're going to now split those four types that we talked about into eight. Um, we can identify the antigens on the red blood cells. And after that, we would identify the presence or absence of the RH factor. Uh, and then we'd be able to determine what, what is in the plasma. So we always look at the red blood cell, we identify the antigens that are on it, and then we identify the RH factor or not, and then we can determine what is in the plasma from there. So if I look at a red blood cell and it's got A and RH antigens on it, I would know that the only one available left to be in the plasma is the B antibodies. So that is kind of the steps, identify the antigens, identify the presence or absence of the RH factor, and then we can determine what is in the plasma next. So when we talk about these blood types, we have to identify the antigen on the red blood cells and the presence or absence of the RH factor on the red blood cells. If the blood cells have A antigens, we have blood type A. If the blood, type, if the blood cells also have RH proteins, we would have blood type A positive. If the blood types do not have RH proteins, we would have blood type A negative. So this is just a very simple example. I think you've probably copied down this top part once already. So maybe just these examples would be fine. But if the blood cells have A antigens, we're blood type A. Next step is to look for the presence or absence of the RH protein. If it's positive, uh, or if it's there, then it's positive. And if it's not there, then we have negative. So plasma contains antibodies to the antigens not found in your blood. Antibodies protect us from, this should be closed together, protect us from foreign invaders. So we can see again, these are different shapes, but if we have the A antigen, we have the B antibody. If we have the B antigen, we have the A antibody. If we have both, we have none in the plasma. And if we have nothing on the red blood cell, we have both in the plasma. So what the whole purpose of antibodies again is to check to see if we have uh, the right type of blood flowing through our veins. Uh, and what it does is it clumps if it's not the proper type. So once these latch on, if they're able to latch on, it clumps blood and then you're not, you're not able to have blood flow through um, the vessels. So that's what happens when you get bitten by a snake as well. The venom clogs the blood and doesn't let it flow and it's very, very painful. Very, very similar thing happens when you have the wrong blood type given to you. So we have a chart. Um, I would pause it here and I would fill in your chart. Essentially what blood type it is, I want you to say what antigens it has and which antibodies it has. So we can do the first, I'll do A positive with you and maybe another one. So we have A positive for a blood type. That means that it has an A antigen. So I would write A here. And it has a RH antigen. So I'd write RH here. Uh, as far as the antibodies, it would have everything antibodies that it doesn't have in antigens, so it would have B antibodies here. If we go to, let's do O negative. So if we look at O negative, and we have, so we have not, no A or B antigens on it, so there's nothing to write for those here. And the negative means that we have no antigens for RH, so there's nothing to write here. So we have to write everything here that we didn't have in the antigen section. So that would be A, 
B and the RH factor. So again, pause it, um, write down antigens, uh, write down the antibodies, and then I'm going to flip to the next slide and it's going to fill this chart in so you can check to see how you did. So there it is. Uh, if you have any questions about any of this, why is that like that, let me know. Um, but there's the chart. We're going to do a little bit of practice now. So imagine you drew someone's blood because you're a doctor or a nurse, and now you're looking at it under this really cool microscope that doesn't require you to take it out of the syringe. This is not how it works at all, but we're going to treat it that way. Uh, we are going to determine what blood type this person is. So the first thing that we do is we look at the red blood cell. The red blood cell only has one antigen on it. It is the A antigen. This would make it blood type A. It is missing the RH antigen, so that means it is A negative. You can see the B antibodies and the RH antibodies opposite of what is on the erythrocyte floating around in the plasma. If we are correct, it should be A negative. If we are correct, A negative. For the next one, we have See, first step is to look at the red blood cell. We have an A antigen floating around, that is the triangle, and we have the RH antigen. So that means that we have A positive. The opposite is floating around in the plasma. If we're right, this should be A positive. Awesome. When I flip to the next one, pause it, do it on your own, then you can check to see if you got it right. Ooh, this one looks a little funny. So pause it here, and then unpause, and then we'll talk about it. So these erythrocytes have three antigens on them. They have the A antigen, that's the blue, the B antigen in yellow, and the RH antigen in green. There's nothing in the plasma, which means that this is blood type AB positive. There we go, AB positive. And the last one, we have blood cells with the RH antigen only on it. There is no A or B antigens. So when we have no A or B antigens, that's blood type O. Uh, it is RH positive, so that's O positive. O positive, yay. So what I'd like you to do now uh, is I'd like you to draw the other four, four blood types. So we talked about three of them already, or sorry, four of them already. I'd like you to draw the other four, and I'd like you to use the same format as our example. So the steps would be A to draw the red blood cell, B, Draw the antigens that are on the red blood cell according to the blood type. Uh, C, draw the RH factor on the red blood cell if it is present. And then after you've done all that with the red blood cell, draw the antibodies to the antigens that are not present on the red blood cell. So if we have uh, A positive, that means we'd be drawing the B antibodies in the plasma. Again, if you guys have questions, let me know, but it's very important to be able to identify blood types and when we talk about a antigens and antibodies, know what that means. Uh, again, uh, thanks for so much for watching, and I will see you soon.